Up to 7% of babies are affected by cow's milk allergy, whilst lactose intolerance is also a condition seen in infancy. This guide will help you recognise the symptoms of both conditions and provides a checklist for discussion with your healthcare professional. A food allergy is caused when the immune system reacts to food proteins it doesn't recognise. Milk protein is an example of a food protein. A food intolerance is caused by non-protein elements such as carbohydrates and does not involve the immune system. Cow's milk allergy is the most common food allergy in infants and is a response to the protein in milk. Causes of cow's milk allergy include an immature immune and digestive system and a history of allergy in the family increases risk. Cow's milk allergy symptoms appear in the early weeks and months of life. The condition is much less common in breastfed babies, only affecting particularly sensitive babies and may be caused by the transfer of any cow's milk protein in the mother's diet through her breast milk. There are two forms of cow's milk allergy. Delayed onset is most common and symptoms appear any time from two hours to several days. Immediate onset symptoms are usually quite immediate and within two hours. Symptoms of cow's milk allergy include skin conditions such as itching, redness and eczema, gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting, reflux, constipation, colic and diarrhoea, respiratory symptoms such as coughing, wheezing and a runny nose. Make a note of the symptoms you are seeing and discuss with your GP as soon as possible. For more information, visit Apta Club. Information about allergies experienced by babies' parents and siblings can help aid diagnosis. Your GP will assess your baby's medical history and may ask you to complete a food diary. Some tests may be recommended to help confirm diagnosis such as skin prick tests, blood tests, trialling and elimination of different foods, endoscopy or biopsy. If you are exclusively breastfeeding, your GP may recommend strict elimination of cow's milk protein from your diet alongside calcium supplements. If your baby is formula fed, your GP may suggest an extensively hydrolyzed formula made with proteins that have been broken down into smaller pieces so they are less likely to cause an allergic reaction. The Department of Health states that soya formulas are not recommended for infants under six months. Speak to your healthcare professional about how best to wean your baby if suffering from cow's milk allergy and visit Apta Club for tailored weaning recipes. Lactose is the main carbohydrate in both breast and standard formula milk. Lactose intolerance is a response to this carbohydrate caused by a lack of or low levels of the enzyme lactase in the gut. Undigested lactose passes into the large intestine where it gets fermented by the bacteria in the gut. Symptoms of lactose intolerance include wind, diarrhoea, bloating and discomfort. Temporary lactose intolerance can be brought on by diarrhoea and gastroenteritis. Diagnosis of lactose intolerance is based on clinical history and confirmed by a food elimination trial. Depending on the cause and type of lactose intolerance, 
Your GP may recommend reduction or avoidance of lactose, or the complete removal of lactose from the diet. With formula-fed babies, this might include the move to a lactose-free formula. Your healthcare professional can offer support to help you manage your baby's lactose intolerance or cow's milk allergy and guide you on the reintroduction of foods. For more information about either condition, visit Apticlub.